Here's the fully rebuilt PR9. This PR9 is on casters and a track, which is sectional and is, is movable on the floor. Um, it has a control panel with independent control of the upper shaft, the mixer shaft, and the extruder shaft. So we want to go ahead and get the machine ready. I can just go ahead and hit the control. We have power. You can start the upper shaft or the, the lower shaft. So here's our auger shaft, our lower shaft. See, we got the auger turning. Say we want to get the upper shaft. The upper shaft turning the upper shaft. We do have some control of the speed using a Reeves drive, variable speed drive. I can speed it up or slow it down to feed the lower shaft um, and keep the vacuum chamber from overfilling if there's part wear or maybe a different clay body. So we have an e-stop here on the control panel. Um, so let's go ahead and start that so we can hear it. We have another e-stop on the front. We have, this machine's going to be underneath a mezzanine. And so when it's removed from the mezzanine, this chain needs to be permanently attached to the mezzanine above it. If the machine is rolled out, it won't run. Um, is this for safety? And if the hopper extension is open for clean out, uh, it'll also shut the machine down. If the machine is shut down, you just have to come back over here, hit the control, get power again, and we can get the machine going. Because the machine's under a mezzanine, we've added a a little window so that the clay level can be monitored as it runs. And if it's overfilling, then the, the feed rate can be slowed.